I'm going to go over the steps on how to install a ceiling fan if you already have a box in the ceiling and the existing electrics here. So I removed the cover plate and I have two hot wires. This one's colored orange and yellow and we've got our white neutral wire. And I double checked to make sure this is rated for a fan. You have to have an electrical box that's rated for fans to stand up to the vibration and also the weight of a fan. And if you didn't have one that's rated for a fan, you'd have to remove this, put in a fan rated box and then either uh, secure it to the joist or you'd have to use a brace and you can pick those up at the hardware store. So here we have two switches on the wall, one switch to operate the fan, one switch for the light. If you only had one switch, you could actually tie these together in your fan housing and then you'll operate the fan and the light separately with the pull change. But here it's real nice because we have a switch for each one. So turn off the electric to the circuit that you're working on and then I'll go through the steps to connect the ceiling fan. The first step we're going to connect the bracket to the electrical box and you're going to have two styles of ceiling fan. One is a ball and socket which is like this or you're going to have a direct connect where it's a flat mounting plate that's going to go right into the box. And you don't want to use these little folded ears on the corners of the box. You're going to use a threaded tube that's going to be much more secure. So we'll just take our screws and we'll just connect it to the box. So the next step, I'm going to take this ball that's going to hang in the socket up there and we're going to attach it to the main body of the fan. And I'm going to screw this down until it's tight. And then we have a set screw that's going to go into the side. So I'll tighten this down and then I'll put the set screw in. Now we're just going to take the canopy and we're going to pull the wires through it and our brown wire and set it on top like that. Now I'm going to put the ball into the socket and just make sure your wires are out of the way and also the wires on top. And make sure you always hold it by the main body. You don't want it ever grabbed by the wires or the arms here. So we'll just slide this in. drop in place. Now we're going to connect our wires. I connected my greens together and my white wires are neutral together. Now we have two hots. One is going to the fan and operated by its own switch and the other one to the light. And so our black wire is going to the fan and our blue wire is to the light. So I'm just going to use a wire connector and connect both of these. Now I just tuck my wires up into the box and we're going to put the canopy up onto the bracket and just screw it in. The style fan I'm putting together is one of Hunter's 5 minute fans and what I like about it is they have the grommets already put into the fan blades and they also have these iron posts that are flared on top and you don't have to screw them together. You just line up the holes with the posts and you just push it into place and it snaps in and that's all there is to it. So it's, it's, it's a nice design and it's real fast. So there's three screws that are going to hold the switch housing in place. So I'm just going to put in two of the screws and partially screw them in by hand and that's going to allow me to slide the switch housing right onto it. So on the body of this, we've got two slotted areas that are going to slide into those two screws we put in. But first we need to connect the electric from the main body of the fan to the switch housing and make sure it's locked in place. And then all we're going to do is just push this up and lock it into those screws. So you want to tighten up all three of those screws on the switch housing and then you're going to put the chain to the fan through a grommet on this center brace right here. So this fan kit came with light bulbs and if you're buying light bulbs for a fan kit um, at your hardware store make sure you ask for ceiling fan bulbs because they have stronger filaments that are going to stand up to that motion. All right now to put the globe on what I also like about this kit is it has this speed nut so we push up our globe and we just push this over the threaded rod and it catches and holds it in place. So it kind of takes the pressure off as you put on this cap and your finial. So we're going to thread it through the grommet on the side. And all we have to do is 
tighten down the finial. And that's it. Pretty uh, straightforward project. Now we'll turn on the electric to the circuit and we'll test it. So it also came with two pull chain pendants to finish it off. And so, again, this is a nice do-it-yourself project for homeowners.